Hello, this is Forever Figs, and it is November 2nd, and I just wanted to give you an additional update on those figs that were grown in my little uh, plastic greenhouse. I had given you one update a few weeks ago on these when they were still covered with plastic bottles and to give them that greenhouse effect. But now as you can see, the plastic bottles and coverings are laid aside, and these things are just moving along and growing at a pretty good rate. I had shown you uh, four cuttings that had started to grow. Three of them made it. That's the third one right there. And the fourth one did not make it. That one is right here. And I had a couple of others too. This one didn't make it. This Verta didn't make it. I have these little stickers still on the ground because uh, they act like little tombstones where the uh, little feed uh, uh, seedlings used to be. So uh, this is my wife here. She, uh, or at least her attempts at, at the rooting uh, off our uh, Ishia green fig tree. I go through a whole lot of procedures. She just sticks them in a bottle of water and they seem to root. So go figure. She has two or three of them here like that. She has great success with that simple little process. Okay, here's some other ones that I've transplanted. Uh, some of these you saw in my uh, first update, or, or maybe it was my first video on the, the uh, little greenhouse in a box. And those ones that had all the roots on them, well, I planted them into dirt since then. You see a couple of them here on my dining room table. And when they were in the plastic bag, you could tell what was going on. You could see fantastic root growth and everything, but now that they've been transferred, I don't see much action going on. Maybe it's just the time of the year, or maybe when I put them into dirt, the uh, the root systems rotted away. I don't know. I mean, there's still little green buds on top, but uh, I see no action whatsoever. So we're just going to have to wait. Uh... This leaf here creature here was growing underneath my my big five-year-old tree this summer. So I pulled this and about six other little seedlings out from underneath my tree. They all had little root systems. Uh, six of them are still living and one didn't make it. So uh, I'm going to see what happens with those. These are all the little cuttings. Once again that have been transferred into dirt. Maybe I put them in too prematurely. I don't know. We will find out. This is another one of my wife's cuttings. Just stuck into water. Can't argue with her success rate. And this is a white Aishia that I bought <clears throat> early springtime of last year. And it grew really good all summer as far as putting some leaves on, but it didn't grow too much in height. And now it's going into dormancy, so I'm assuming it's going to come back next year and we're going to give it another another go-around. This is another little seedling I pulled out from underneath the big tree, Lady of the Night. And uh, these two stump-like looking creatures here are cuttings off a, uh, a tree I had in my backyard. It's a dark tree, dark fig, called a Laraca. And uh, I had wrapped them up in... Uh, damp, slightly damp newspaper. And after about two weeks, they seem to have like roots all over them. So I planted them. And since then, nothing has happened. So I don't know if what I was looking at was roots or maybe it was mold growing on them. I don't know. So I'm just going to keep them in here until, until whenever. And this is another one of the cuttings off that tree outside. Lady of the Night. It's a green... Ishia or Aishia, however you pronounce it. We just found out the variety of that tree about a week ago from a friend on the uh, fig farm who was kind enough to identify this tree. Okay, so I'm going to sign off for now. This is Forever Figs, and I will see you next video. Bye-bye.